aggressive with her, right? <laughs> <laughs> you just have to take hey, it easy on you. If I could still see, I'd be digging those out with my own oh, fingernails. Yeah, yeah you'd, be, you'd be doing it yourself, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Marianne. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> well, Again. I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Marianne's been my patient for many years now. Uh, we finally get to film her. You can see these are very painful, huh, Marianne? Yeah. <laughs> these are very painful, right? These, these yeah, they calluses. Hurt. Yeah. See, there's that calluses with a little root inside, a little corn, like over here and over here. And then she has these uh, corns and calluses as well. And then we're going to take care of her nails at the same time today. So. I don't complain about them. I know. You're. 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 She's one of the nicest patients that I have. She never complains. How long did you wait to see me today? A well, while, huh? About 20 minutes. Oh, that's it? Oh, some people walked out this morning. <laughs> right, Tammy? <laughs> then some people couldn't wait any longer, so... All of a sudden, I got, I got really busy today. The uh, last couple of days has not been extremely busy. So we're just going to clean these out. These are called the IPKs or intractable plantar keratosis. What that means is there's a plugged up sweat glands. The calluses form and then we have a quarter million sweat glands that wants to get the sweat out. About one pint of sweat every day, most people. That's a lot of sweat. And then they cannot come through because of the callus and it goes inward and forms a little rock inside. Uh, some people call it a corn. I call it an IPK or that's what's going on here. So we just clean this out. Sometimes I have to use chemical to burn this, but um, sometimes we just keep doing this every so often. After I clean this out, how, how long is it good for? A yeah. couple months? About a month? Couple of months. Couple of months? Okay. So she's pretty good with this, so that's why I'm not burning it out. Sometimes they have pain right away even after I clean this. Then, then I have to burn it where it, it doesn't come back anymore. But when we do this, Marianne's good enough, so. How young are you this year now, Marianne? Uh, I'll be 91 in a month. 91, wow. I call it ninth grader. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're, you're moving up on your grades. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, can't see, I can't hear, but. <laughs> right. So she's very pleasant. She's always happy, even though she lost her uh, best friend, right? For how many years did you know Corky? Oh, we worked together 40, 40, 45, 50 years ago. <laughs> 50 years ago, huh? And then... I lost all four of my kids. That's the worst part. Yeah, I know. She lost her kids to, to all of them to cancer too, right? No, three to cancer. Oh, three to cancer, yeah. The first one was ALS. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, ALS. So... Uh, she lost her very good friend that used to come see me for many years as well. And uh, it was terrible. You guys were friends for so long and, you know, you guys lived together and... We did a lot of traveling together. A lot of traveling together. Where, where was the favorite place that you guys went together that you... Oh, gee. <laughs> so many places? I guess... Hawaii is the farthest we went together. Oh, Hawaii? She never got over the Marshall Islands while I was there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. You, you, you were in Marshall Islands, right? I was there for six years. Oh, six years? And we were in were you, were you working there? Uh, I was a volunteer at the Catholic Mission. Oh, really? Okay. Wow. For six years, wow. Worked in the school out on Gujigu. Where's that? It's what, five islands out from the main island of Quaj. What's a Quaj? Is that, is that, uh, is that near Guam? <laughs> you know, I come from Guam, right? Yeah. Is it near Guam, Guam there? Marshall Islands somewhere down there, isn't it? Um, I never got to Guam. Oh, really? Uh, got to Ponape. Oh, Ponape. Mm-hmm. And how was that? Did you enjoy there? I enjoyed it, yeah. You say you like the hot weather, right? Oh, I love the hot weather. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I like. I don't like Guam weather as much because it's it's too muggy, you know. It's too too much too much humidity, you know. But 
I like Hawaii weather for sure. I like it nice and warm. You can see that there's a little corn inside in there, but it doesn't have that much pain. Usually they do have a lot of pain. I have to burn them, but uh, she's doing well enough, so I don't have to do that. And she's 91 already, so we don't want to be too aggressive with her, right? <laughs> <laughs> You just have to take hey, it easy on you. If I could still see, I'd be digging those out with my own oh, yeah. nails. Yeah, you'd be, you'd be doing it yourself, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I just can't see them anymore to do them. Yeah. So I got it down pretty well here, as you can see. I don't want to make it bleed, but it's this is as deep as I can go, as you can see here. This side also has a little corn in there as well. So how long has it been since Cork, Corky's been gone now? Oh. When did when did she pass? Last year when? About three months. Why oh, has it been three months? Oh, okay. Wow. That's pretty devastating, huh? I have a hard time remembering time. Yeah. When you don't do anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's getting harder, huh? Especially your... Yeah. So do you have any... How many, how many kids did you have? I had four. Oh, yeah, four. So all of them gone now? All four are gone. Oh, four of them gone. However, I have 15 grandkids. Oh, you have grandkids, okay. And 36 great grandkids. Oh, wow. And eight great great grandkids. Oh, really? Wow. That's a lot. So, do you see them often? Uh, they're scattered all over the world. Some of them I see quite frequently. Mm -hmm. Anybody local? I got a grandson and a granddaughter that live here in Long Beach. Oh, okay. And two granddaughters out in Lancaster and one in Simi Valley. Oh, okay. The rest of them were in Texas and Illinois and uh, Northern California, yeah. <laughs> Arkansas. <laughs> All over, huh? Especially with COVID, you can't see everybody these days, huh? Well, there's actually two of the little corns here. So you can see that I got both of them down pretty well here. So how often do you see your grandkids locally? Um, the ones that are reasonably close. We keep in touch every couple of months or something. Uh-huh. I've got one granddaughter that's working for the, well, she's going to law school in D.C. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. And she's just become the editor-in-chief mm -hmm. of the Criminal Law Review. Magazine. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that sounds serious. Yeah. Uh, she's a criminal they're lawyer? All, they're all pretty smart. Let's put it down. Well, you know, when, when grandma's smart, they're all smart, you know? <laughs> Your, your genes get handed down, right? That it has to come from somewhere, right? Well, let's see. She's she's into that. I have looked for her to run for president someday. Really? I won't be around. But wow! <laughs> First female president? Uh, probably. She may be. <laughs> wow. Her sister has a pilot's license, commercial pilot's license. Oh really? Oh wow! As you can see, it looks pretty good now. You got, there was two of them here, so I got both of them kind of down. So she does pretty well. We have a little small one here that to make sure it doesn't become as deep. All right. Okay, and she has another little corn here, which is gonna go down. You have to be very careful because the skin's really thin. You don't want to overdo it. So when when she gonna be like a? She already finished the law. No, she's, she's studying. She's still in law school. Oh, she's still in law school. She wants to get into criminal law. Uh, I think she's got another year or two. Uh huh. She's tough. She's what twenty three, I think, this year. Uh huh. Okay, now we can go up there and take care of her nails. I'm gonna lower the table a little bit. The chair out of the way. I'm going to bring this one in. Sorry, 
may have to bleed a little bit there. Maybe I'll colorize that. Yeah, it's a bit, our skin is very thin, so. You feel that at all, Marianne? Oh, yeah. No? You feel a little burning? It's just, I mean, it hurts a little. No, it's a little? Not enough to do much complaining about. <laughs> you never complain anyways. <laughs> so, Mar Marianne is the sweetest, nicest lady. Well, I yeah. learned long ago you don't get through life without a little bit of hurt. <laughs> I'm sure you've been through a lot of that, right? <laughs> you've been through a lot of hurt in the past. Yeah, I haven't been here as long as you have, but I've been through some pain. Okay. You know, all of us do, I think. It's the only way we learn anything. That's what I think. Your nail hasn't grown that much. Oh, sorry. No sense there, huh? This one grew quite a bit. The other side didn't. So when were you um, when were you there in the Marshall Islands? Um, um, was it a while back? From ninety seven to two thousand and four. Oh really? Wow. So that wasn't that I long ago. I first went to the missions when I was sixty. Oh, is that right? Oh wow. I went to Africa for three years, nineteen ninety to ninety three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You started late. Yeah, I retired from the phone company before I did anything. Else. Is that right? Wow. At least you got out and. Travel and, then and stuff. I came home and for three years, and then I wanted to go back, so I went back in '97 to 2004. Really? Well, you're almost like 70. Yeah. When you were out doing that. Yeah. Wow, that's hard. Well, right. I was working in a school, you know, what do you do? Right. But that's still a lot of work. Well, I was working in the office and teaching a couple of classes. Uh huh. Wow. So you went there by yourself? Um, well, when I was, I had a little house by myself. Uh-huh. But there were people around. I mean, right. I had neighbors, and the kids came up from Boston Town. Mm-hmm. Wow. I can't tell the kids on town by my grandma, so yeah. my grandkids are always Yeah. It's a very, very poor area, right? It's very poor? Uh, yes. Uh, they don't know it. You know what I mean? Yeah, they don't know. You haven't, you haven't seen anything anyways, right? Uh, right. Oh, living on an asshole in the Pacific like that. Uh-huh. It's difficult to explain the kids that haven't traveled. Yeah. But a mountain or a river or a... <laughs> yeah, you're, you're right. I mean, okay. there's no, no rivers in the country. Is right? that right? The whole, the whole place? Well, Nothing? The island I lived on was, what, a mile and a half long and a half a mile wide. I mean, uh -huh. come on. Wow, small place. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, Marianne, for allowing us to film you today. Okay. Here you go, like this. I found another picture.